Hello and welcome back to the Booniverse. We are playing Lens Island today. Lens Island is a sort of, it's a survival-ish game, a bit of a dungeon crawler and some town management as well. So we're going to jump in. I've played a few hours, not played this since the demo. Uh, there is only standard at the moment. There's going to be a more hardcore survival mode. At the moment it is pretty chill. Apart from the dungeon crawling, that's the only time you will see any enemies. Now here's our character. This is Len. We're going to use the mouse to control Len. It's going to be from Garth Hinterlands. Masculine. Uh, he definitely doesn't wear shoes. He doesn't require any hair because, I mean, who needs hair? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, give him a red t-shirt. And uh, we'll give him some baggy pants. Cool. Your once safe home was destroyed by the voids. The mysteries of the darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered. No one understands its power or where it came from. You are ferried to the forgotten island where the lightstone rush began, hoping to build a new life. Cool, so this is us. Uh, we always start in a slightly different place, and I think this beginning island is always pretty much the same, but the rest of the map, I believe, is procedurally generated, or some of it's procedurally generated. Maybe the dungeons are. I haven't quite figured that bit out yet. Uh, we are going to get these tutorials, and you can pause if you want to see these. Basically, what that is saying is that there's a timer. You see where that white thing flicks out from my sword? I'll show you on this. It's a little bit easier to see with the pickaxe. Oh, I'm not close enough. Yeah. See, we're getting power hits in because I'm getting the timing right on it. If we just do normal hits, we'd be getting six as opposed to seven. But we can upgrade our gear as well as upgrading our own powers. And now we're just going to collect a few resources and I'll show you those things in just a little bit. There are a few little things. It might be a little bit jerky to start off with. It might continue to be jerky. Like I say, it is in early access. I have changed a few settings, uh, so there's nothing, there's nothing major that we can't work through. So first thing I want to do is, if you can see up here, we've got this getting started. I want to go and see the mayor as we're here. Hello there. How could I help you? Uh, what is this place? This is Bridgewater Traveller. My name is Gerald. I am the mayor of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travellers come to Bridgewater, but very few stay. Please donate any spare building supplies at the town notice board. We desperately need resources to rebuild and upgrade the town. If you help me build Bridgewater back up again, I'll clear new plots of land for citizens to move in. So this is our town notice board here. As you can see, we need some materials to upgrade it. And that upgrade is going to get us two house plots. And it's also going to get us double shop buying selling amounts, which is good. Plus a new furniture builder. Now these house plots will allow you to move in traders. And traders will open shops in your town. So that's one of the first things we want to do. But before that happens, we're going to follow the rest of the getting started tutorial. And we're going to build ourselves a little home. Um, on some flat land, preferably, where there isn't loads of rocks. So, somewhere around here should be good. So let's get out our axe and we'll chop down some trees. And we'll collect these bits and pieces. And then start building ourselves a little home. Now you can see we've cleared a nice patch for ourselves and we're going to hit tab. Now in tab, we've got a few different things. These are our resources. Every time we collect something, it goes into our backpack. At the moment, our backpack can carry a ton of stuff. It's pretty ridiculous. Everything stacks to 100 at the moment. We will need more than that in the future. Uh, we also have some seeds. This is our food and farming panel. 
This is our cooking and potions panel, and then we've got our fishing as well. We also have our building up here on this top tab. Now, this is where we want to get started. So again, you can pause this if you want to. So we're just going to build something basic to start off with. One of my favorite things about this is that we can use Alt and the mouse wheel to bring stuff up and drop it back down again so we can put things on different levels. And not every game with building mechanics has that, which I really appreciate that. It's really good. We're going to start like this. Uh, I do have to move out the way and I can't move out the way whilst I'm in build mode. So I have to just go around here. But one thing I can do in build mode is I can swivel the camera. Otherwise it's fixed. I can swivel it around. I can zoom in and out. So we're going to do a two by three. But I will need some more wood before I can do that. This is why we need to be able to carry more wood and more materials in general. So at the start you need to make sure you've got some stone on you as well for building because we require that for our foundations and possibly for the other building parts but it's good to just have a bit of everything. Nice. All right, let's get this floor piece in like that. And then we can get our steps in over this side. We'll get a front door. And for now, I just want to put in a wall here and then a roof piece. And then that will be our home built. Now we just need to place a bed and a workbench. So this will now function as a house. But I do need to put a little bed in uh, here. Let's put Okay, let's, uh, does it matter which way around it is? I'm going to spin it around anyway. Let's put it this way around. Uh, see, there is one problem, is that when you rotate, you can't rotate the other way. I have to rotate all the way around. So we're just going to whack a bed down. Now we need to build a workbench. Uh, we don't have the materials for it at the moment. I need a bit more wood. Ah, bees! Bees! I mess with the bees. And a workbench. Um, doing this the wrong way around, really. It's going to be confusing. That's okay. Lovely. So the last thing we need to do on our getting started is hit M. We can check our map. So we've explored a little bit of it. It does reveal quite a lot of the map when you move around. Don't necessarily have to see it all now this cave down here is what we're most interested in we'll go and have a look at that very shortly but firstly we're going to have a look in our workbench so in here this is where we can build our tools but also this has a little storage box underneath which I can't access for some reason uh, okay I was doing this before uh, it had a little weird little error where you can't actually access the box. Let's move that over this side, it might make it a bit easier. This is basically where we manage our tools and our gear. So if we have something in here that we've built, which we haven't yet, uh, then we can just drag and drop it from here onto our hotbar. Uh, it's getting a little bit dark, I think we can probably sleep. Oh, it needs to be enclosed under a roof. Alright, fair enough. That does make sense. Let's just stick one of those roofs up. And we can set our bed. That'll be our respawn point. We can sleep till morning. Okay, good. So we need to make sure that we eat. Because our health will go down if our food goes all the way down. This also gives us a little bit of health if we've lost health. I'm just going to collect up all the resources and fill up all my bars. And then we'll jump into the next section. So as you can see, we've filled up a few of our different resources. We've got full wood, full stone, a lot of fibers and a lot of clay as well. I've also been picking up a little bit of glass. One thing we haven't picked up yet is these salvaged metals. What I did want to show you was this. Now this is our dungeon entrance. You have to interact with this. Boom. It's updated our map. 
And as you can see now on our map, we've got these three blue circles. So we're going to go over to this one first and we'll see what's there. So we're over at our first blue circle area here on the map. And we've got to go up here onto these rocks. Uh, again, you can pause this if you want to see what that's all about. Basically, it's just saying hit Q when you jump. You can do that. This is our dodge roll. Very useful. But also gets us along long gaps. Boom! So we've unlocked our first keystone. So we just need to go over to the other two places on the map to get our other keystones. So here we are over at our second area, the northern blue circle on the map. We have to rebuild this bridge. We've got the gear for it. Ta-da! Magic bridge repairing skills. Here's our second keystone. Love the way that thing explodes. More scrap, very handy. So now we're over towards our third blue circle here on the west coast of the island. Just going to jump across here. Now this is a slightly different biome. Oh, it's a little bit dark. See these little spawner things here? Ah, little nests. They've got bad guys in. Little bug things. Yeah. Go away. Some more here. We've got pumpkins here as well. We've got all of those. Let's fall on that. Let's grab a couple of pumpkins. Oh no, I can do that on the way back out. That's fine. So the most important thing about this area is in here. This area gives us our first idea of what the cave and dungeon systems will be. I'm going to put a little bit of coal in here. Light ourselves up. This game is beautiful. I really love the way it looks. So we've got ourselves a coal node here, which is super handy. And then this one is metal shards. Metal shards. Those are going to come in really handy. There's another little bug thing here. And then up here is what we're looking for. Oh, let's just get this lamp lit and see what we're doing. Here. Hey, get out of here. Nice. Okay, good. That's updated our map. So let's check out. Well, it hasn't really updated our map, but it's basically saying that this dungeon is now unlocked and we can go and check it out. But we will do that shortly because there's a couple of things in here I want to have a look at. There's some more coal here. Must remember to eat. Thankfully, I can eat while I'm doing this. Now, if we go back into our tab menu, our third slot, so we've got our building, and then we've got our skill points. And in skill points, I want to go for this one, which costs two. This is vitality. Extra bit of health is going to be useful. Well, now it's dark. Okay, we just slept through the night so we can see what we're doing. Uh, I've realised as well that I don't really want my house to be in the north here. Um, I've got plenty of resources on me though. So, oh, apart from the wood, in fact. So I might just pull some of this down. Now if we go into our edit menu by pressing F, we can just pull these things down and we get all of our resources refunded. I mean, it will drop some stone as well because I'm full on stone, but it's given me a little bit of my wood back, which is useful. Let's pull this roof off as well if we can uh, if we use q and e we can go up and down the levels 
meaning that we can see the roof if we need to. Yeah, it's dropping a little bit of clay. That's fine. Okay, so here's our dungeon entrance again. Now we can unlock the door. Boom. I'm not going in there just yet. I mean, for a start, I'm not wearing any shoes. Okay, so there's a nice little area right out the front here, and I think there's no reason why I don't just cut down the trees here and build us a little hut here. need to put a new bed in and I will go and recycle those other bits as well oh can't do that yet need yet more wood okay there's our bed and our workbench nice okay so now when we go into our workbench we can see that we can build a few of these things um I think I will probably take the pickaxe the iron pickaxe to start off with now we can go into our little holder thing down here, grab our new pickaxe, and then replace this one here. Nice. So that one's going to do more damage when we go inside this cave. Uh, I would like a better sword as well. We'll, we'll be able to get that. Oh, the other thing that I need, in fact, because I won't need that axe while I'm in the cave. What I will need is this, the Adventurer's Torch. A standard handmade torch, small light radius and handheld. Which is okay for now. Again, we're going to go back into our little box. Grab the torch. Bring it down here. Ta-da! I've got a torch and a sword. Torch and a sword. I've got a torch and a sword. In we go. 